In our previous lecture, we saw how to create a function app. In this one, we'll be taking a look at how we can add functions to a function app. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go inside the function app. So here we are inside our function app. And if I need to add a new function, I can click on the add button over here, which will open up this side pop-up. And here you can see you have various options of selecting the development environment. Obviously, I will be choosing a develop in portal. So I'll be selecting this. And here you can see there are various triggers available. And based on that, they have created a template. For instance, if I have to do some HTTP operation like get, put, post, delete, I'll be going with the HTTP trigger. Similarly, timer-based events will be using timer trigger, Azure query storage trigger, Azure service bus queue trigger, and Azure service bus topic trigger. Similarly, we have Azure blob storage trigger, event event hub trigger, Cosmos DB trigger, trigger send grid, Azure event trigger, durable functions, durable functions activity, and so on and so forth. What I'll be doing over here is quickly selecting this HTTP trigger and here it will ask you to provide it a name. Let's call it as sample get and authorization level over here by default comes to function. If you do not want any kind of authorization, you can select anonymous. If you want admin level, you can go with admin level. So let's stick to the defaults for now. And here, if you see the information, authorization level controls whether the function requires an API key and which key to use. Function uses a function key. Admin uses your master key. The function and master keys are found in the keys management panel on the portal. When your function is selected for user-based authentication, go to functions app settings so let's go and click on add now once the function is created you will be brought to this screen where you have following options code plus test integration monitor and function keys let's go ahead and click on code plus test now here you will notice that by default we already have a function definition and there's a file called index.js we also have a function.json file because we have the authorization set to function so that permission is mentioned over here let's go back to our index.js file and here you can see that it says index.log javascript http trigger function process to request so this is an asynchronous function expecting two arguments context and request the request will contain all these things like query body so anything that you're submitting from a form uh, either the form data or the query string, those will be part of this request object. And here we are returning the response message. So the response message that we have created over here will be sent as the body of the context. Now, since we have created one sample function, let's go ahead and take a look at the function which we will be actually creating for our job search application. The first search function will be creating a company so here you can see we have a method or function called save company its trigger is http and status is enabled if i click on this one and go to code plus test here you will be finding a couple of things like first of all we have these endpoints because we are inserting data to cosmos db the first thing that we do is require this package cosmos client and the package is coming from azure cosmos then we have these endpoints defined i'll take you to these as well from where these are coming but for now let's follow me on this so endpoint is the cosmos db endpoint then we have a db auth key the database name and the collection name so all we are saying is take this package these are the credentials for it the table name is company container and what you are expected to do is whenever you have the request you just grab following from it like meaning company name location industry and create it on create a 
item body and then the id which is automatically generated will be part of this item body dot id and finally using the cosmos client that we have over here here we have initialized it to client object using that we are saying client dot database and then the name of the database is coming from here in our case it's uh, did you apply db and then it says go and find this container which is company container and insert or update the item body so here you see the method as upsert which basically takes care of both the things insert as well as update that's why it says upsert so you pass the item body over here and it will then return company save successfully and it will then return the body with this message complete save successfully we are then also catching some errors if they occur over here now let's go ahead and see it in action so what we'll do is we will be going to our sample get method and here we'll go to code press test and you can see over here test run so let's go ahead and click this and you know that the method was get so we'll select get the key at function level was there so you can go with the default function key and you can add a parameter let's add a parameter name over here and we'll give it a value so this is the name and here by default it has added a body so you have both the things if the request.query name is there then it will take that name otherwise it will go and check for the body and if it finds a name over there it will pick that name and it will add that to the response message so let's go ahead and click on run now and there you have it the output is coming as hellos to bakery this should be triggered function executed successfully so what we have seen in this one is how to create a function in your function app and how to test run it in the next one we'll also explore how we can install dependent packages as i was explaining when we were discussing our save company method so that will be coming up in the next one